Well, in this video, we are going to see what are the roots of integers, but the roots are not going to be square roots. They are going to be roots with different grades. For example, here, the cube root and other roots that are not the square root. First, let's see what is the cube root of the number 8. The cube root is a root of grade 3. So, what I'm saying by the cube root of the number 8 is what number multiplied by itself a total of 3 times, or what is the same thing, what number cube or what number raised to the third power will equal the number 8. And that is the number 2. If I have 2 with an exponent equal to 3, which is exactly the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2, that equals the number 8. Remember, 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 equals 8. So the cube root of the number 8 is the number 2. Now, here I have the cube root of the number negative 8. And the cube root of the number negative 8 is the number negative 2. Remember, when we were dealing with square roots, which are roots of grade 2, if you have the square root of a negative number, that equals an imaginary number. But that does not happen when you have a cube root, a root of grade 3. The reason is that I can find a number that multiply by itself a total of three times or a number cube that will equal a negative eight. That number is the negative two. Remember, negative two multiplied by negative two equals positive four. Two numbers that are negative multiplied together equal a positive number. So all of this equals positive four. And now, positive 4 is being multiplied by negative 2. Now I have a positive number multiplied by a negative number. And a positive number multiplied by a negative number equals a negative number. Up to here, I had the number positive 4. And positive 4 multiplied by negative 2 equals negative 8. So, what that means is that negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 which also equals negative 2 cube of neg or negative 2 to the third power equals negative 8. So the cube root of negative 8 is the number negative 2, simply because the number negative 2 cube or with an exponent that equals 3 will equal the radicand, which is negative 8. Now let's look at this example here. Here we have the fourth root of the number 16. The fourth root simply means what number with an exponent equal to 4 will equal the number that I have on the inside of the radical sign. This number is called the radicand. So this is the number 2 also. The number 2 with an exponent 4 which is the same thing as the number 2 multiplied by itself a total of 4 times will equal the number 16. 16 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 which also equals 2 to the 4th power. Those are all equal. And remember, there is a property about the roots. When you have a number on the radicand, on the inside of the radical sign and that number has an exponent at, and the exponent is the same number as the grade of the root, then that simply equals the number on the inside. What I'm trying to say is, here I have the number 2 with an exponent 4 and all of that is inside of a root of grade 4. So the fourth root of the number 2 raised to the fourth power simply equals the number 2. Because of that, remember that 2 
the fourth power is 16, so the fourth root of the number 16 simply equals the number 2. This is the simplification of the fourth root of the number 16. The fourth root of the number 16 is equal to 2. Now let's see the third, the cubic root of the number 600. The cubic root of the number 600, I'm going to rewrite or factor the number 600 into the number 300 multiplied by 2. And I'm going to do that again. I'm going to change the 300 to 150 times 2. So 600 now is exactly the same thing as 150 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2 again. And I can continue doing that, and now I have 75 times 2 from the 150. So 600 is also the same thing as 75 times 2 times 2 times 2. I'm simply factoring by dividing by 2 each time. And now I have that the square, the, the cubic root of 600 also equals the cubic root of 75 multiplied by 2 cubed. And the 2 cubed comes from all of these numbers 2 multiplied together. 2 times 2 times 2 equals 2 cubed. So now I use the property of the roots which lets me do this. If I have two numbers that are multiplied on the radicand, two numbers that are multiplied inside of the radical sign, I can separate them into the root of one number multiplied by the root of the other number. In this case, the cubic root of 75 multiplied by 2 cubed, I will separate them into the cubic root of the number 75 multiplied by the cubic root of the number 2 cubed. Now remember, here we have an exponent that equals the same number of the grade of the root that simply equals the number on the radicand, which is the number 2. The cubic root of 2 cubed is simply the number 2. So now what I have is the cubic root of 75 multiplied by 2. I can rearrange that because in multiplication, if you change the order of the multiplication, the result stays the same. So I can say the cubic root the cubic roots of 75 multiplied by 2 or 2 multiplied by the cubic root of 75 and that will equal the same result in the end. I'm just doing it for convenience. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor the number 75 to see if there's if there is something in there that I can simplify. But what I have is 5 times 5, which is 5 squared, but I cannot take that outside of the radicand, and I only have one number 3. 5 times 5 times 3 equals 75, but there is nothing in here that I can simplify anymore. So the result of the cubic root of the number 600 simply equals 2 multiplied by the cubic root of 75. Now let's do this number here. What is the cubic root of 125,000? Well, I can factor that and I can see that 125,000 is, of course, simply 125 multiplied by 1,000. And I know that 5 cubed equals 125. 5 times 5 is 25, and 25 times 5 is 125. So this 125 becomes 5 cubed. And 1,000 is also 10 cubed. 10 times 10 equals 100. And 100 times 10 equals 1,000. So 1,000 becomes 10 cubed. So now I have the cubic root 
of 5 cube multiplied by 10 cube. Now I'm going to do a little multiplication inside of the radicand without taking anything out. There is a property of the exponents that says that if you have two different numbers and both of them are raised to the same power, then that also equals the multiplication of the numbers without any exponent and the result of that raised to the same power. Let's do that with numbers so you can see what I'm trying to say here. I have 5 cube and I have 10 cube, just like this in here. I can rewrite that as 5 times 10 and all of that cube. 5 times 10, like in here, is 50. And I keep the same exponent, so the exponent was 3. So 5 cubed multiplied by 10 cubed is simply 5 times 10 cubed, and 5 times 10 is 50. So all of this in here simply equals 50 cubed. And now, remembering the property that we used before, I have a number with, a, with an exponent that is the same as the grade of the root. So the cubic root of 50 cube simply equals 50. Same way the cubic root of x cube simply equals x. x can be any number. So any number cube inside of the cubic root simply equals that number. In this case the 50, in this case the x. And in the end what I find out is that the cubic root of the number 125,000 simply equals 50. And if you want to verify if you did that correctly, you multiply 50 times 50 times 50, or what is the same thing, 50 cubed, and you will get the result of the radicand. And the radicand is, in this case, the number 125,000. That is the simplification of the cubic root of 125,000. It simply equals the number 50.